What is up, y'all? Today is my anti-haul for the month of April. You know what's really crazy is this month I actually want to try a lot of products, but I'm like way too broke right now. So I'm like, ooh, I'm going to do a really good um, new makeup drops or the bops or flops videos of a whole bunch of things that I want to try. Also, if you guys have not seen, I did do a list of things that I would purchase from the Sephora sale. Some things I did pick up, um, which you guys, well, actually, I'm not going to do a haul of it, honestly. I'll just let you guys know in a future video when I get them because I'm like, y'all, I only ordered three things. Like I said, I am balling on a budget right now. And I'm like, y'all, I just can't afford everything. And I do feel like there's a lot of good products coming out soon. Also, if you guys did not see in my most recent video, I was like, oh, Oh, I got you know what I thought I had it right here I just picked up the brand new makeup revolution skin silk foundation if you guys want a review of that please let me know I asked on that video if it gets to 300 likes um, then I will do a review on it only because I was like I don't know if like people even want to see that because I didn't really see it go like viral let's say on TikTok. I just saw quite a few people talk about it and I was like, you know what? This looks like a foundation that I would like. It's meant to be a dupe of the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. And I want to say it's $15. And then I got 20% off on top of it. So I was like, y'all, I really want to compare it. I think I'm like kind of thinking about if you guys want. I'm going to do a review of it. And then I'll probably do a like side by side to see if it really is a dupe. Because y'all know I love the Giorgio Armani Luminous. I said that weird. Your, your Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. But the problem is, is that that is like $60. I want to say it is. It's like super expensive. Anyway, today's video is my makeup anti-haul. As you guys know, I do one every single month just because I love talking about product that I plan on not purchasing. I feel like, y'all, this... You know what? I really got to start doing these on TikToks because I feel like I don't see any anti-hauls on TikToks and I feel like... I don't know. I feel like it would do good on TikTok only because y'all just keeping it real. Like everyone in their mom seems to just like pretty much love everything on TikTok. And I almost feel like it comes across a little bit fake. Okay. I did tell you guys before, in my personal opinion, I think people are looking for that opportunity to get sponsored by a brand and like get their uh, TikTok turned into an ad. So I think that they're looking for that moment. And I'm like, y'all, I want to do an anti haul because I'm just keeping it real with you guys. Like I don't work with any brands. I don't get any PR anymore, literally from no brands. Like the very last brand that was sticking with me was uh, Paula's Choice. And I haven't received PR from them in like months but that's skincare though I specifically want to do this for makeup as you guys know obviously I'm not like a skincare expert so I'd feel better doing it about makeup specifically and on top of that too there's just so many like makeup products being released every single day and there's just so many people on TikTok specifically that are claiming like oh my gosh this is the holy grail product and this is the best product and there's so many influencers out there that are like this is my favorite this and then the next week this is my favorite this I'm like okay how many times you're gonna call something your favorite do you know what I mean anyways y'all I'm getting off on a tangent here my anti haul obviously once again I do this every single month it's not meant to be like negative or rude in any type of way it's just you know my thoughts and opinions about some products that I plan on not purchasing if you guys have not seen I do upload new podcast um every single Wednesday it'll be linked down below make sure you guys check it out just a little warning i always like to give a little bit of warning on that it is very unhinged over there it is a hot mess we are just two friends having ordinary conversations y'all and y'all i am not holding back from talking about anything literally anything and i had said before when i do a podcast like y'all we sit there for like two hours we chop it up for two hours so we're going to talk about whatever we want and anything and i just like i don't know my whole thing y'all of like doing that podcast specifically is to like say that i'm over cancel culture and i feel like people are so scared this day and age to have a honest conversation that they want to filter themselves and then kind of become a robot do you know what i mean and i'm like y'all i want to break that because i really feel like us as humans no one's like that and on the internet people are just so prim and proper and i'm like y'all no that's not how it is behind the scenes like you'll see a lot of these influencers out here who are acting like all poised and like elegant and like not cussing and then when you see them in person they're a completely different person do you know what i mean and i'm like i don't know i feel like people are just really scared to be their true authentic selves and if you guys have seen that podcast y'all know me and my homegirl are ourselves y'all we let it all out there so make sure you guys go check that out my travel channel will be linked down below too let me shut up let's go ahead and get into it also i forgot to mention in the beginning of the video too what do you guys think about this lighting i switched it up i think i did like make this comment in my most recent um michaela nogiria video but i think that i cut that clip out because I'm like, you know what? I was like, I went back to look at the comments. And I didn't see anybody like talk about it. So what do you guys feel about this lighting? I toned it down because I did want something a little bit more natural, especially for when I do like um, foundation reviews or powder reviews, like complexion. So that way you guys can see y'all. Let me like show you guys up close. Like you guys can see every little bit of detail right here, which low key, it's very unflattering, but then also it's real. Do you know what I mean? Anyways, let's go ahead and jump into this anti-haul. The very first product that I want to talk about right here is from Guerlain. 
These are like highlighting pearls and I am so sorry. I just think products like this are just so stupid. I think I've seen this before from Physicians Formula. I want to say it is. I don't know what it is about this type of product. I just don't like it. Like I just feel like it's almost gimmicky. Do you know what I mean? Because I don't really understand why it needs to be in little pearl forms and little balls. Like what's the difference of it being into a pressed powder? I know obviously you're having multi different colors so you can like pick up different ones but I think I have told you guys before there was a MAC mineralized um, skin finish highlight that I used to love it was called perfect topping and it's a marble mixture of different colors like it would have a little bit of purple in there a little bit of pink a little bit of yellow a little bit of like you know pearl and it's just really really beautiful I don't think that this needs to be in like little balls and on top of that too y'all this is $72 like I know Guerlain is really expensive but I don't know I just don't think this is cute like I get it obviously for for springtime this does give very like easter vibes but it's just not my vibe especially for 72 dollars. and on top of that too like just imagine like traveling with these like i don't know it just seems really inconvenient and just kind of weird and i don't know i just don't like it anyways let's go ahead and move on to we have another highlighter right here this is from bobby brown bobby brown bobby brown this y'all i want to say it does really look good and i'm kind of tripped out that they did swatches on three different complexions and it looks good on all three different complexions but i just i don't you know what it is y'all you know how i used to tell you guys before that i'm like more of a lit within type of highlighter i recently said about the um fenty highlighter i was like oh that sounds like one that i may like but then i was like you know what as soon as i started seeing swatches of it and people getting it in pr i was like oh maybe not it still looks a little bit too blinding for me this is the type of thing that i'm talking about that i specifically like is i'll take most of my setting spray i'll cover my face y'all like right here and then i'll do my setting spray just right there so i get that kind of like glow and that's what i like because it doesn't have any shimmer to it it just looks like natural dew i think that i just don't like highlighters anymore like looking at this like it does look beautiful and it's kind of a trip that it does work on so many different complexions um skin tones i should say but i'm just like i don't know i just don't think that i would like it like seeing the little bit of shimmerness i just know it emphasizes my texture and like overusing a setting spray doesn't emphasize my texture actually i feel like it complements it do you know what i mean but this too on top of that y'all for a one single highlighter is 56 dollars like i don't know i just think that's so crazy because i've said this before y'all wet n wild has some beautiful highlighters if you're looking for a really bomb highlighter wet n wilds are really good and y'all i want to say like back in the day where they were like three dollars so maybe they're like up to like six dollars now but that's still really really cheap probably under ten dollars let's just keep it real inflation is really really bad but that's still good compared to fifty six dollars and i bet you you get the same effect so this is a definite no for me recently i've been talking about jones road a lot and i don't know what it is the brand just does not appeal to me whatsoever i don't know if it's the lackluster packaging i don't know if it's the lackluster colors i don't know if it's the lackluster products the brand as a whole is just a huge flop for me and nothing Thing is appealing to me and I have to say I feel in my personal opinion ever since I saw that like bomb foundation that they came out with or like that y'all it just looked weird and separated and I think Meredith uh, Duxbury made it go viral for how she was using it and the owner was like no girl you're using this way wrong I just wouldn't want to use a product like that it looked messy it looked dirty it looked muddy it just looked like a not convenient product and I feel like ever since then I'm just like Jones Road is just not for me which is crazy because I do like Bobbi Brown it's the same owner and I know that she's going for a little bit more of a like natural aesthetic with Jones Road but I just don't like it y'all she's coming out with these new the lippy sticks right here and these just look so cheap to me like really cheap and these are $22 and to be quite honest with you they look like something that should be at like Ulta or like Walmart for like $9 like $22 for this and they just look so I don't know they look like a tinted chapstick in my personal opinion so I'm just like no this is just not for me I feel like if you're charging that much I just I don't know I would expect some better packaging or something and then I don't know if I'm tripping obviously I would have to see it in person but doesn't the top of it look so big? Like, it looks like you can't even get precise application with it. And being that these are all in different shades, you're going to want to get precise application. And it just looks so extremely rounded, kind of like a Carmex, like, lip balm. You know what I mean? That I feel like you're not going to be able to get precision with this. And I just overall, I don't like it. So that's a no for me. Up next, please educate me on this, y'all, because I don't know if I'm just tripping. Maybe I'm just not following the trends anymore. Are faux freckles still in? Are people still doing faux freckles? I swear on a daily basis, I don't see anybody out in the real world doing faux freckles. Maybe I'm just not paying attention too much. Maybe they just blend in too much. I don't really know. But every single time that I like go out into the grocery store, whether I go out to a bar or whatever, I don't notice people doing faux freckles. As to where I feel like maybe about three or four years ago, they were really, really in. 
well, y'all, this brand right here called Pink Honey is coming out with a freckle marker. And I do want to say the price point of these is really fair. It's a really random price point. This is from Trend Mood. It says that it's $11.61. I feel like that is really, really weird. I think this is a cool little pin if you are still into the faux freckle look. You know what's really weird is I actually do have some freckles from Sun Damage. And I try to cover them up. Like, I actually don't really like them. For some reason, I feel like... Call me crazy on this, but maybe some of you guys can understand what I'm saying on this. I feel like when you start getting to a certain age, freckles almost look like sunspots. Do you know what I mean? So I'm like, oh my gosh, like maybe they look like sunspots, age spots, and I'm like trying to conceal that. So I'm like, I know that like, oh, it looks cute, but I feel like it looks cute on more like young people. Me, you know, in my mid 30s, almost mid 30s. I'm like, oh, I don't know if I like that, but. I have to say, like, these little freckles, like, they do look cute, and this does look like a convenient pin, but it's just not something that I would buy. I'm just not into the faux freckle look. Next up on the list, I can't remember if I talked about these, and I was a little bit thrown off at first. These are new blushes from Rare Beauty, and you know what's really crazy? In the package, I feel like they do look really beautiful. They look like something that would be really, really nice. Well, now that I've started to see more and more reveals, uh, re reveals, reviews of these, this is something that I most definitely would not like, and I can't remember if I put it in a new makeup drops or a, um, anti haul video of mine so i apologize if i am repeating myself on this but these are the new blushes and y'all 26 dollars not too bad of a price point my whole thing of this is i feel like they look way too dewy i see many mua use them i see michaela use them and look don't get me wrong the colors look beautiful but i feel like they are meant for a person who has perfect skin and i'm not even trying to be shady when i say this when i saw many mua's video i feel like it emphasized his texture big time like i was looking at that video on tiktok and i was like oh, whoa, this is like showing all types of texture that I didn't see before he applied that product. And I was like, look, the color is beautiful and the finish is beautiful. But if you have really nice, plump, like even textured skin, I feel like if you're like 20 years old and have like perfect skin, then I think it looks good. Somebody like me who has texture right here that does have a little bit of crepiness, I'm like, y'all, that would emphasize that and just, I don't like it. Like, I feel like this is specifically made for really, really young people with like perfect skin. And that's why I'm just like, no. But if you guys do have like perfect skin with no types of texture, I feel like this would be nice for you. But I did start noticing in people's TikToks, I was like, y'all, this is emphasizing all types of texture. It literally looks like a highlight, which which is just too much for me. I feel like you could use this as a highlight instead of a blush, so that's a no. Next up on the list, I don't know if I'm tripping. This is by Byredo, which I don't know if it's Byredo or Byredo. I don't know, y'all. I feel like it's been years since I've even heard of this brand. Now, look, I know this brand is obviously on the higher end. It's a luxury brand. But y'all, this palette right here is $115, and look, I understand that I like love Pat McGrath palettes. I purchased Pat McGrath palettes. Those are $128, and you know, I, I want to say there are only 12 eyeshadows in that, maybe even 10. So I get it that this does have more, but this color story to me has to be the most plain, lackluster, dull, dry color story that I have ever seen. I feel like this looks horrible. Like, I look at this and I'm so uninspired, and like, to be straight up real with you, I feel like this is something that like a mortician would use. Sorry if that sounds offensive. I'm just keeping it real like this just looks so dull like I look at this and I'm like I just don't I don't like it and y'all know that recently like the more old I get I'm like I really do like my neutrals I don't like too much color like I feel like any single time that I'm drawn to a palette now it's going to be a neutral palette like one of the makeup by Mario palettes and this to me I'm just like I don't like it. I'm like, this is just a no. And it's $115 for this. I don't know the formula on it. Maybe it is a bomb formula, but overall, why do I feel like there is so many different shades in there that look so similar? Like all of the greens look the same. Those like murky purples look the same. I just don't, I don't know. I just don't like this palette whatsoever. I feel like it is like the most uncreative palette that I have seen in a long time. So that's a definite no. The last product up on the list, this is a trip to me because I remember before that when Burt's Bees had did this, I want to say it was an April Fool's joke that they were coming out with a Hidden Valley Ranch lip balm. And then it turned into a real thing. And then they came out with it again this time around. And I love how on Trend Mood she had to put in there, this is not an April Fool's joke. And I'm just so sorry that this is just unhinged to me like y'all and that's coming from me y'all know that i'm crazy i feel like this is just too much who wants to have their lips tasting like ranch like can y'all just imagine if in your purse you just were carrying around a little ranch lip balm and you're at the club or whatever and you're like oh my lips feel dry i gotta put some on and then you go to like meet and like make out with somebody and they're like oh this bitch tastes like ranch like who would want that there's a full pack of these y'all and so there is one that is a ranch flavor a celery flavor a carrot flavor and a buffalo sauce flavor 
And I'm just so tripped out by these because honestly, y'all, like I love when like, I don't know, you have like a random little, like say for example, like if a chapstick does a collaboration with like Jolly Rancher, like something sweet, something fruity. Do you know what I mean? Like that kind of goes and it like tastes good. Or say for example, when the lip balms before that were super popular, when they had like a Pepsi flavored one or like a, um, what was the other one, y'all? I feel like there's just been so many different types of collaborations with like lip balms and like different flavors of drinks. And I feel like those kind of make sense. Like cherry cola. Do you know what I mean? Because that's something that like tastes good and smells good. But something like this, like y'all, this is going to be like, wait, like picture, like, I hope you guys can picture this. Say for example, you eat something with a lot of ranch and then you take a drink of water and then you like smell the like cap, like the bottle top of your bottle. And it's like, ugh, like it just smells nasty. I feel like that's what your lips will smell like with that. That's an absolute no. Like, I am so sorry. Hidden Valley times Burt's Bees. That just... I feel like it really should have stayed as an April Fool's joke, to be quite honest with you guys. Anyways, that wraps it up for this video. Make sure you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions. Make sure you guys let me know what you plan on not purchasing and make sure you guys put the reason why. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, Girl Scout.